Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see who wants to come back into your life. So who wants to reconnect with you? Um, you know, why is it that they want to reconnect? What do they have to say? Is this uh, an ex or a fling that you have far flung? Um, there is going to be a part two to this reading as well. And part two is going to be made available in the extension by the extension link below. In part two of this reading, we're going to go into a lot more detail with the messages here that come up for us in part one. And for those of you interested in a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and connect. My email address is going to be listed just below the video here. All right, guys, otherwise, let's go ahead. Let's give the cards a shuffle and let's begin here. Wow, so this is interesting. Okay, so after a period of no contact, no communication here, it feels like absence truly makes the heart go fonder. That's what I'm seeing for you guys. So there's a lot of waiting, a lot of stagnation and uh, the delays involved between you and this person. So maybe you guys aren't communicating right now. Maybe, you know, you've broken up. Um, or you're at a separation or disconnection from one another. I feel like this person is doing a lot. And I do mean a lot of thinking about you. So just because they're not communicating with you, just because they're not, um, you haven't heard from them, that doesn't mean that they're not thinking about you because they are. Okay. And when you find yourself thinking about them or even dreaming of them, I feel like it's sort of the universe's way of trying to let you know that, hey, you know, this person is also doing some thinking about you and you have been dominating a lot of their mental space so it's just i guess it's just a bit of a um a message from the universe here now i feel like either this person is waiting for you to reach out first because maybe you guys have ended things on a bit of a sour or a bitter note maybe there's been a fallout or a disagreement maybe this person is a little bit stubborn and a little bit too proud okay but to me it feels like they're waiting for either you to reach out and make contact or they're waiting for the right time, the right time, the right circumstances, when they're in a better mood, when they've got something to say. This is someone who's A, writing and deleting their messages to you. This is someone who is keeping tabs on your social media and what you post because they want to, in a way, they kind of want to see, there's a curiosity, okay? They want to see what you've been doing, who you're interacting with, and it, it's like a way for them to stay connected with you. So just because they're not communicating with you, they do feel a sense of connection. And what helps enable that connection is, you know, when they're sort of checking up on the photos that you're posting, I feel like you will hear from this person very soon, okay? It could be a matter of days or it could be a matter of weeks. For some of you, you might have already heard from this person. It could be a matter of just a few hours until you hear from this person. Notice how the um, King of Wands here, notice how he leans towards the Seven of Pentacles. So they're doing a lot of waiting, but it's just going to get to a point where, you know, all of this waiting is just driving them crazy. It's just... It's just driving them nuts. And there's only so long that they can bear going without communicating with you. Because they know that if you're, you know, if you're off the market, they know that, you know, you're a beautiful energy, you're a beautiful person, and that anyone would be more than lucky to have you. And they're scared of losing you. So if they are being a little bit proud and a little bit egotistical right now, I feel like eventually they, you know they will swallow their pride here and they will reach out and they will communicate here but for the time being i feel like they're doing some thinking about you the four of swords also tells me that they're trying to heal some sort of situation so i don't know if you guys have 
blocked one another. I don't know if you guys have said some really hurtful and some meanful, some mean things to one another. But it feels like they're trying to heal from that. They're trying to make sense of something and they're trying to move on from that. And it feels like they're trying to... It's like they're trying to think up of all the right things to say to you. So this is why I see them like kind of writing and deleting their messages. Or I see them waiting before they do communicate with you because it's sort of like they want to gather their thoughts they want to gather their feelings here because they don't want to stuff anything up okay they might have stuffed stuffed things up in the first place um they don't want to make a bad impression on you here again um they i feel like they're trying to get it right here i feel like they're really trying to get it right this time around here I'm also seeing if this person is active on um, social media and the two of you follow each other and if this person like posts any quotes or um, yeah just any like quotes or um, even any memes anything like that I feel like some of it could be a hint or a reference to what's going on with them emotionally towards you okay so they could be posting certain quotes with you in mind you being the inspiration that the fuel behind that certain post or that certain quote okay and that's their way of them trying to subtly communicate with you without saying anything at all or it's their way of just trying to send you a signal that hey even though we're not talking or even though we're you know separated and not connected i'm still thinking about you so they're trying to it's like they're trying to talk to you without trying to talk to you if that makes sense they're trying to communicate with you without actually saying a word but they're doing it in different ways it could come like in the form of dreams you could be dreaming about them and that's them trying to communicate with you to let you know that they are thinking about you that they still feel you they feel your presence even though you may not be there um this person wants to come back and i feel like they've got a message here okay especially with the page of pentacles here and that's interesting and we'll explore what the contents of this message is in part two of this reading here it feels like there's still very much an attraction here okay there's still very much an intense flame an intense fire that burns between the both of you there is a lot of communication coming from this individual and i do mean expect your phone to go off expect text message after text message after text message expect phone call after phone call so why is this happening maybe you've blocked this person or maybe you just haven't been checking your phone or um you know you just haven't been active on social media and it's like maybe they're trying to reach you via your dms or if you want to block them then it just expect your phone to just keep pinging off like message after message it feels like they've got a lot to say you know all that waiting and all that time apart has really got them thinking it's really given them a lot of clarity. Notice the Eight of Pentacles, the fact that there's nothing in the background here, okay? And it feels like there's a lot of mental and emotional clarity. And it feels like the communication that, they, um, that they're coming in with, it feels like it's purposeful. It feels like they've got, you know, there's this, they're really eager to reconnect. They're really eager to reconcile their differences with you. The Eight of Pentacles tells us that there is so much forward momentum coming in. The Chariot tells us that they want to persevere. So if you guys have had a fallout or if you guys had some challenges or, or obstacles, um, some you know tumultuous situation or some issues that you've been dealing with, the Chariot tells me that this person wants to come out victorious. Okay, They want to conquer those obstacles. They want to find a resolution to any conflict. They want to ease the tension. They want to come in with an apology and explanation. Um, they want to explain themselves. They want to seek your forgiveness here. They want to sort things out. They don't want to bury any feelings. They don't want any um, tension here. They want to clear the air with you. There is going to be or there may still be that period of no communication, no contact, you know, just complete stagnation here. But then all of a sudden expect the tables to turn. And expect them to go from no contact, no communication to suddenly all of this communication, all of this incoming messaging, phone calls here. Wow, that's that's intense. Hangman tells me that they see things very differently. So what exactly prompted the shift? Okay, there's a bit of there's a shift in their energy. Why? Okay, why is it that they're you know, they go from not communicating with you at all to suddenly having to say so much. Okay, so what is it that sort of, what's shifted in their energies? You know, did their feelings for you change? 
did someone say something to influence this um action okay we're going to explore that in part two of the reading there's a lot of communication that's coming in we'll also explore that in part two there is a special message that they want to send off to you and i feel like that's the message that they've been writing and deleting so we'll see what the content of that message is the chariot and the hierophant tells me that there is a forgiveness or there's an element of forgiveness here or an apology that they may be coming in with here the chariot also tells me that my goodness this person has a lot of there's such an energy of drive and I feel like this is someone who's coming for you here, okay? They want to reconcile, they want to reunite, they want to reconnect you, they want to reestablish that connection you've had but make it bigger and better this time around. So to me, I feel like what, what's really interesting here is that they go from one spectrum, which is like no contact, no communication, to suddenly having so much to say to you. And I want to explore that in part two as to what exactly brings about this change because it's so dra drastic right it's like them not saying nothing at all or them blocking you not communicating with you to suddenly i'm blocking you and just having so much to say and why is it that they're seeing things differently what influenced this so we're going to explore that in part two of this reading here we'll also see does this connection have a future is there a chance for this connection to survive so Follow me on um, via the extension link below to part two of this reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, please feel free to connect. Otherwise, guys, thank you for your time and your attention. Bye for now. Oh, and also, please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys again. Bye for now.